Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's DIY we'll be using these jars that I found at Dollar Tree. Now I'm going to do two separate DIYs using the same jars. In the first one I'll be using three and in the second DIY I'll be using six. Okay, here's the skew. Now I've been having these jars for about a month. I don't know if they're still in stock. But the Dollar Tree where I found mine, they have a lot of them. They had like two shelves full of these jars. That's how I was able to get so many. Um, for this particular DIY, I'm going to use my Cricut. I've been promising some of you ladies that I'll use my Cricut more this year. So yeah, here's another DIY. Here's a butterfly that I made using my Cricut. I'm actually going to use three different butterflies. Now the thing with the Cricut, you can use whatever design you want. I wanted these jars to be kind of spring, summerish, so I went with the butterflies. You can go with flowers, whatever you want. It's up to you. So next I'm going to go ahead and wipe my jars down with alcohol and then come. So I'm done cleaning the jar. I clean the inside and the outside. On your jar you'll see that it has a line on each side, so I try and keep that on the side. So the first thing I need to do is go ahead and remove it. Whenever you use a Cricut machine, you will need certain tools to make it a little bit easier. I have a weeding tool and I have this little container. It makes it easier to weed. You'll see what I mean. And there's other tools that you can use as well. So now I'll do this side and then come back. As you can see, I'm not fast because I'm new to all of this, but over time I, I feel like I'll get faster. So next I'm going to take some transfer paper. I'll cut enough that will cover the image. And here I'll peel this off. Now I'm just going to place it right over the image. So now we have our image on the transfer paper. Again, I'm locating the lines on each side. So now I'm just going to hold my jar and center my image. Take your time doing this because once it's on there, it's on there. Again, I'll take the same tool and transfer it to the jar. See if it comes off. And just like that, we have our beautiful butterfly on our jar now. Isn't it gorgeous? <laughs> All right, so I could actually add some bling around the bottom, the top, do some other Cricut designs and add it to it, but I don't want to. I just want the simple butterfly because of what I'm going to put on the inside. Now, of course, I want this to be taller. So I'm going to add one of the Dollar Tree candle holders to it. I'm going to clean the base and the top of this with alcohol. And now I'm going to come in with my taped up Gorilla Glue. It was leaking so I put tape over it. Please do not use the Dollar Tree Fix All Glue whenever you're gluing glass together because it will come apart. I learned that a long time ago. It's okay for certain things but I would not recommend using it whenever you're gluing um, glass pieces together. I'm just going to put some glue right around the top of my candle holder. And now I'm just going to center this right on top. Now I'll flip it over. Check it again. Make sure everything looks good. And now I'm going to put some weight on the inside. Now I'm not going to do anything too extravagant because I don't want to take away from the beauty of the butterfly and I want to put certain things on the inside of the jars that's going to stand out as well. So here I have some bling that I found on Amazon.com. So I'm just going to wrap this around 
the lid. Just one row of it. If I need to cut it, and then cut the one row off. Now I'll use hot glue along with some more of my Gorilla Glue to glue this down because I will be using pressure to open and close the jars and I do not want to lose my decoration. And you guys knew this was coming next. Look at these knobs, aren't they cute? I like the bubbles on the inside. Bubbles in bathroom go hand in hand. <laughs> All right, so now I wanna take some of my glue and put it on the very bottom of my glass knob and put it right in the center. Put that aside and let that dry. Okay, so here's a jar that I did ahead of time. Isn't it gorgeous? I love this. Now, the thing about this is not over the top blingy. So this will work for anyone. So keep this in mind for Mother's Day and for gift giving. So what I want to do now is just go ahead and tie these two pieces together by gluing the same decoration around the neck of the candle holder. Again, I'm going to use some high glue along with Gorilla Glue. Here I have some rhinestones that I found at Hobby Lobby and I'm going to glue some right on the base of the candle holder. Now that's the perfect amount of bling for me. And I went with these rhinestones because they matched the bling. Here's my completed jar. Again, I have another one, so I have three different butterfly designs. I'm gonna add the same designs to the neck and to the bottom of the candle holders. Then I'll come back and um, show you what I'm gonna put on the inside. So now let's go ahead and move on to DIY number two. Here are the images that I'll use in DIY number two for my six piece kitchen canister set. Okay guys, so I've washed all six jars, but I only have two here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start weeding my images and then put them on my jars one by one. So what I'm going to do is put some of these bath bombs from Dollar Tree into this jar. I only purchased three bags. I wasn't sure how many would fit. So I'm definitely going back to get more. Ooh, it smells so good. And these are watermelon sweet mint. Yeah, I'm definitely going back to get two more packs to go in here. Next up, I have these pink Himalayan bath rocks. And I got these from Five Below. And the fragrance is Sweet Vanilla and Rose Fragrance.
okay and the whole jar fits right in and finally I have some Epsom salt that I picked up from Five Below as well you can pick this up anywhere but this one has MC oil and retinol <laughs> Now I do have some small scoops. I just need to locate them. Once I do, I'll put one of the scoops inside here. So yeah, I have all three of my jars. I have my bath rocks, bath bombs, and my Epsom salts for my bath. I hope that you all enjoyed my DIY and if you did, please leave me a thumbs up. Please don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Okay everyone, see you in the next one.